everyone, my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and starting to watch with me. Today we are back with more Miraculous. We are watching two episodes, that's right, two episodes. We are watching The Puppeteer and Reflecta. Uh, Puppeteer sounds kind of fun and Reflecta, maybe like a mirror villain sort. So that'd be kind of cool. Like copies you. So... Definitely excited to see these episodes. Uh, we are getting super close to the end of season one, so I'm getting really hyped. I'm excited to see kind of where everything leads to in the end, so I am hyped. But please remember, guys, to go support the official release of Miraculous Ladybug over on Netflix or in other countries that's on Disney+. Plus. Support the show. I'm really enjoying it, so make sure you watch it that way as well. And, of course... If you like what you see and want to see my full uncut reactions, you check out my Patreon page, link down in the description below to support the channel. But without further ado, let's get started. Here I am, my lady. Glad to see you, Cat Noir. Of course you are. I'm the cat meow. <laughs> <laughs> what? You should look like that. Oh. No? What's with the attitude from this lost child? Ladybug and Cat Noir have won again! <laughs> Not fair! You always win! <laughs> oh! Ladybug and Cat Noir always win. And the bad guys always lose. But you never let me play with Ladybug and Cat Noir! Marinette! You need to let her play with them! I'm back, Manol. Have you been a good girl? Mommy! Oh, that's your mom! Oh, Manol, you can't always expect to win. Oh, yes, you can. Ladybug and Cat Noir always win. Well, you're right there, but ah! they're superheroes. You'll win next time, Manol. I want that doll! No! Just let her borrow the doll, okay? Can I have Ladybug? It's broken, though. Pretty, please. She's broken! Oh, please. Take Cat Noir! Okay, you can borrow Lady Wi Fi. It's broken! What don't you understand, child? Here I am, Daddy. Ah! Where are you hiding? Uh-oh. Oh, no. She's what? gonna think you stole it. This is one of Marinette's dolls. You took it after I specifically told you oh, not no. to. But, but Marinette wanted me to have it. You disobeyed me. I told you the dolls were to stay at her house. You won't be needing this anymore. No! Oh... It's hard being a parent. Like, you told her no, and she's still dead. But, I mean, it's one stupid doll, okay? I get it. I get it. But, like, it's one stupid doll. Just let her take the stupid doll. She's just borrowing it. Uh, Ooh, the lighting. What could be more pure than an innocent child's emotions? Especially anger. Oh, I love it. Bro, seriously? And commiserate with this frustrated Ooh, child. Commiserate. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. I love the word choice there, Hawk Moth. All right. You get a path. I'm not going to make fun of you today, okay? I know. Oh. What a smart little girl you are. Huh. All right. We're taking advantage of the weak children. Oh. <laughs> Lady more dog. Maybe he's going to the same movie. Oh, how could that be? But wait, but then he might think that we're following him. Like, stop it. Me? A stalker? Me? A stalker? Although, I would follow him. I mean, of course, it wouldn't really stop him. Oh. Oh, my goodness. You're a stalker! Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Puppeteer! Such a shame. It's really not nice to steal from your baby. 
case there. Breaking and entering a grounds for a serious timeout. Excuse me, what? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Good, good. Oh. Nice move, Pauzy. Good. Now take her miraculous. Okay. What will this do, though? Oh, and you're using this so early, though. Nice. Okay. You're being transformed back. Don't let her make me a puppet. You know I like to be a man. Oh no, I just fell in love with someone I saw on the internet and imagined an entire relationship with them. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop doing this. <laughs> that was a steamy line. <laughs> you know, I like to be in command. Ooh. <laughs> Scandalous. Wow. We're gonna be one to be like four? Five. Five. Because puppeteer. Well, I'm the winner. <laughs> Drop that doll, my I'm not my gnome. I'm puppeteer. <laughs> this is kind of sketchy. Not gonna lie. Like, we're all by ourselves. There may be four of you, but I'm twice as dangerous. Oh, okay. Huh. So we're just twirling around the power strip. Oh, damn. That's sick. She was whistling the tune. <laughs> wow, that was clutch. I didn't even think about that to try to get the stop. That was really cool. I gotta give her credit. That was amazing. Huh? What happened? You were a puppet, but don't worry, you didn't do anything foolish. <laughs> and Ladybug, FYI, you can pull my heartstrings any day. I'm sorry about what happened last time, Miss Shamak. I shouldn't have given her the doll after you told her no. Aww. Men all can be pretty persuasive sometimes. Yeah, with her. Baby doll eyes? Yes, I know. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Oh, hey. That was the, the panther, right? Or leopard? I can't remember. That's kind of funny. Okay, so uh, the puppeteer. I like that we got to see Mano again. Uh... I feel like I say her name wrong, so I'm so sorry if I am. Um, I liked it, though. It's fun, especially for someone like me. It's really fun because I was a babysitter for a long time. Um, fun fact, I babysat my vice principal's children, which are uh, mega terrifying. I was like one of like three girls kind of selected because basically... He asked around, like, who are the most responsible girls in my class? And I was one of the ones picked. It was a weird way he did this. I don't know if this was, like, super Gucci. But he was, like, new, so he didn't really know people. But, um, yeah, so me and one of my other friends were kind of, like, the ones that accepted the job to babysit. I was, like, the full-time one. Um, I'd come over in the summer, come, like, babysit for, like, eight, nine hours. And then she would kind of do, like, when they needed someone on the weekends and things like that. But, yeah, so it's fun because it's incredibly difficult. And it's fun to watch someone else deal with babysitting struggles that, like, you know, you can't always flop over because, you know, the kids aren't going to learn then that not every time they can win, not every time they can have the doll. You can't always give in to them. But... 
sometimes you do need to pick your battles. And I feel like this was one time that mom should have. Like, she clearly was just bringing one doll home. And so mom could have just very easily been like, and Marinette asked you to bring it back. And she's like, yes. And it's like, okay, then you need, you have to be responsible and you have to remember to bring it back to Marinette. Okay. Um, you know, just something like that. Like it could have been very simple. I feel like mom was a little extra when she was like, well, you already have so many toys. I don't know where you're going to put it. Obviously she's going to sleep with the toy. Okay. She really likes it. Just let her like it. So I don't know. (laughs) One of the few times I feel like maybe the mom character was wrong and we should have just let the child have the toy. Like, she obviously was going to bring it back and just had to make her promise to bring it back. And a teacher's responsibility instead of just saying no. So, a a little wonky. So, I feel like this whole problem probably could have just been avoided. But, uh, you know, then we wouldn't have conflict, now would we? So, yeah, no. (laughs) That, That be how it goes. So... I thought it was fun. I like that we got to see all the old, not all of them, but quite a few of our previous villains. Um, Roger Cop, Illustrator, and Lady Wi-Fi. It was cool. I like that, like, they, it wasn't just, like, the dolls or, like, a fake version of them. It was, like, actually Alia, uh, Nathaniel, and uh, Sabrina's dad all turned back into their former akumatized selves. I thought that was a really classy twist and it allows them to reuse um, the assets, the models that they've already made. I think that's very smart. I, I am always in favor of work smarter, not harder. So instead of having to make, you know, like how many episodes we have, like 23, 23 different villains, you can make the one and then reuse some of the assets so you don't have to make like one, you know, armor man you can just reuse and it's cool it's exciting and I think getting to see our friends retransformed was kind of fun so I thought this was really really clever I thought um Cat Noir being uh puppetized taken over by the puppet was really cool because then it was you know 1v5 which is terrifying so it was fun to see that little fight go down I didn't really know what was gonna happen because I was like I mean in theory like I guess we could lose like our miraculous and maybe we get it back somehow but nah ladybug is just too cool too good for that she's uh incredible so clutch like her just whooping and stopping her like that and just walking up just do 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 just like <laughs> whistle it and she just takes it <laughs> like class girl so classy <laughs> so I love this episode it was fun I'm glad that Marinette seems to have actually like learned something from it all to be like you know I shouldn't give in because that can cause problems as well and I need to be strong against the baby doll eyes <laughs> so I had a great time. I thought this episode was really good. So we are going to continue on though because it's a double reaction and we're going to go watch Reflecto. Say spaghetti. Spaghetti. At least you know you're going to be in the photo. No, huh? Julia, I'm telling you. You're not jinxed. This time it's going to work out. I can feel it right here. Aw, you two are cute. Ever since I was little, every time someone takes a photo of me, something always goes very wrong. Oh. 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 I mean, you're in it. You, 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 and you. Uh, Don't stand on the real bench, please. Wait just one minute. I'm supposed to be in the middle row, right next to Adrian, preferably the center. Look, we're the same size. No, you're not. Perfect. You guys are awesome. Now stop Where's swimming and let's get this photo Where shot. Is she? Come on, baby. Ah, uh, sorry, my bad. Um, go stand in the middle row, next to that blonde-haired boy. And you're gonna be right in the center. All eyes will be on you. No more jinx class photos. Aww. 
Mm. Oh my <laughs> god! I don't want to push you out of the way. Uh-huh. Miss Bourgeois, uh-huh. behave yourself. Hey, nobody asked you, loudmouth. This isn't gym class, you know, Claire. Uh, you, over here. You, here. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, Julica, but hurry. Make sure she doesn't come back. <gasps> Are you joking me right now? I am going to beat your ass. I... I know I just said, I know I just said in the last episode, I know I said that I'd be more patient with her because I know that technically she hasn't learned anything in this episode because the timing's all weird, but like, ah, why is she so, ew, Chloe, you just make me so upset. Hey, where's Julica? How'd you get here? How'd you get here? I'm in the right spot. You're... And your fantasies can't ever be quenched, can they? Oh, honey. <laughs> yeah. I guess the photo, didn't I? Yeah, another one of Chloe's neat tricks. Why should I expect it to be any different? Forget me. <laughs> oh, my God. I fucking hate Chloe. She's literally the worst. Come here, my little friend. Hawk mob. I was gonna say, can you do something against Chloe? But actually, you love Chloe. She makes, she like lets you have all these horrible people. Like, why? She's so mean. I hate her. Actually upset. <laughs> oh, what a different look. She's like all pink and cute. Hello. What? Who? Who are you? Nobody has ever noticed me, but those days are over. Because from now God, on, you look good, everybody girl. will notice me. Because everyone will look like me. Time to get a new look. Oh. Soon there'll be nothing but reflectors everywhere. Huh. Those players will look like me, including this Chloe bourgeois. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, so are we actually going to get Chloe? Are we gonna get a class photo with Julika? So many questions. <laughs> what? Jim, check it! Kind of water's gonna save us! Oh. <laughs> oh! Much better! I hate that! Oh! Uh oh. My ring! My miraculous! It's oh. gone! It's miraculous! You should have taken it before you transformed him! There you are! Hey! Chloe Bourgeois! She has to understand at some point, like, you! What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Every aku- almost every akumatized person comes after her. Ah! Uh, <laughs> what in the- Julika, stop this now! Powers might be gone, but I can't just stand by and do nothing! Oh, oh. Them heels, though. Who invented these things? Yeah. I mean, they're not even like heel heels though. They're just platforms with a little heel. So they wouldn't be that hard to walk in. Just saying. Is, is it really you? Of course it is. Can't you tell by my swagger? Am I still the cat's meow? Swagger? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. To the TV station. Here it goes. Watch your nails. <laughs> Watch your nails. <laughs> you haven't just lost your body, Cat Noir. I think you've lost your sense of humor. <laughs> Okay, okay, I like that. That's really funny. <laughs> These episodes have been really good. I'm really enjoying myself. Oh. There, you go. I've already been changed, so I'm safe. <laughs> Thanks, go ahead, use that charm of yours. Aww. Charm! I really like their, like, humor in this episode. Charm? Okay. <laughs> Over here, Fletcher. <laughs> oh, whoa. The creepy photos. Oh. No more evil doing for you, little She got you good, Reflector. Cat Noir changed back to Cat Noir. Awesome, Cat okay. Noir. And with those shoes on, too. By the way, those things should be illegal. <laughs> That's really funny. Where, where am I? Okay. What a bug. I'll destroy you when you least expect it. Okay, sure. Yeah. You talk so big. Okay. Oh, without Chloe? Ready? This photo was a good idea, Marinette. <laughs> Thanks, Angie. <laughs> like I would want to be part of their stupid photo anyway. Ridiculous. 
to come with them and do that that's so nice 10 out of 10 really good episode okay so i haven't really got to meet julica until this episode she was in the uh horrificator where she's like awesome and i liked her but we haven't really got to hear much from her besides her in the class president one where she's like uh, you know so i'm glad we got more time with her i'm glad we get to kind of understand her a little bit She's kind of more shy of sorts, and she believed she had this curse that, like, she couldn't be in photos, which made her almost feel like she was invisible, which is really sad. I can certainly relate to that, because, like, I was friends with a lot of people growing up, but I always felt like I was the one who was, like, left out of things. Like, I was always invited, don't get me wrong, but, like, when there was, like, a project... Um, or like a activity of sorts, something like off. I was just always the one that was kind of like forgotten about. Like the teacher would pair everyone up and they'd be like, oh, Amber. Mmm, right. You. So it never felt good. Like it legitimately just felt like you were invisible. And I think the, uh, the worst instance of that happening to me was probably when I was a summer camp counselor. Um, it was like so sad. So from like day one of our training to be camp counselors, we basically all got divvied out to be someone's like secret like counselor. So what that meant was you're supposed to do like little random acts for them and like, you know, keep your identity a secret. And it was their way of, like, you know, getting people outside of their comfort zone, their box, to try to talk to other counselors. And at the end of the whole, you know, thing at our, like, big, like, end of summer party, we were supposed to then give them a gift or some way to be like, it was me. And so, you know, like, people had their stuff going on. Um, I was with my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, so, like, his secret person messaged me like, hey, like, what's his favorite color? Blah, 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 things like that. And so I was like, oh, like, this is fun. And I was like, I wonder who mine is. And, you know, I had my own. I had my thing. So, like, I had to, you know, get someone else a gift. So we were going and going uh, at the party. People were giving their stuff. And, you know, I did mine, give it to my person, and then, uh, <laughs> we, uh, start wrapping up, and they're like, okay, um, uh, anybody else? And, like, I was looking around, and then everyone, like, looked towards me, and then looked around, and then they're like, who, who is Amber's? And they're like, oh, <laughs> Uh, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, it turns out, um, I wasn't on the list. <laughs> no one had me ever. Cause they're like, oh, it was probably one of the counselors that like had left midsummer or something. No, it wasn't. I was never on the list. And they're like, well, we'll, we'll figure something out for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never got anything. I never, never did. So it was so sad because, like, people got, like, really nice, like, scrapbooks, gift cards, you know. And I got literally nothing. So, like, no one. Like, the problem is, like, it's not, like, the gift that matters. It was the fact that, like, there was no one at camp who made an effort to try to get to know me or figure something out to get me. So it was really, really sad. Because the whole point was that you were supposed to get to know that person and, like, be friends with them because that was like your your secret role that you're supposed to do so it was really heartbreaking so I definitely feel for Julica like I've had like far too many experiences like that in my life where it's 
so you suddenly just feel so invisible and like no one cares. So I, I feel that. I feel that quite a bit. Like, you know, I know it's not a feeling I should have anymore because I have all of you. And obviously I have so many people that do care about me that if I suddenly did stop doing like YouTube or making videos, there would be people who cared and would worry about my well-being and would reach out to me, what have you, not just for my content, but just because, you know, I wasn't there anymore. So it's definitely a feeling that I've always unfortunately had to deal with. And so being a part of YouTube in the limelight has always been my way to try to combat that. I know that like I still feel those feelings and it's hard to remember at times that like people are there who care about me and would worry if I suddenly dropped off the face of the earth. But it's hard. It's just when when you grew up feeling like that and having so many different times where you just felt so alone and forgotten. It, it It's hard. It's definitely hard. Like there's just, I could literally list off at least, at least five very, very detrimental times that I sincerely felt like alone and like no one recognized me. So it, it sucks. So I, I can definitely identify with Julica, maybe because I also had a little like punk emo face too. <laughs> um, but I can, I can really identify with Julica that, you know, if everyone was me, then I would never technically be forgotten. I would never be invisible because it was, it would always be me. People would always be doing something for me, technically. Her, her logic's a little bit flawed, but... It's not wrong either. So, yeah, really, really good episodes. Both Puppeteer and Reflector were definitely good. Um, I I certainly identified with both of them, which was kind of strange. I didn't even uh, mean to put them together, but I put two episodes I was really able to identify with, with Puppeteer being a babysitter, understanding kind of the whole like what what you can do and pick and choose your battles as the babysitter and then reflect uh, with kind of feeling, you know, forgotten or invisible. It's certainly interesting. So, yeah, I feel like they did really really good really good writing for both those episodes. I feel like they're especially cuz I I know Miraculous does want to be a show that's um kind of a a, a if you have to say, gender neutral. They don't want to truly appeal to, like, you know, the stereotypical boy-girl audience. Like, Cat Noir is there to kind of be something for, you know, the the little boys. And, of course, Ladybug is there to appeal to the girls. But I feel like it's a really good show that, yeah, they kind of focus on, like, the love a little too much, but I feel like any person could truly enjoy the show. It's Sometimes a little mind numbing, of course, but I think it's a really good show for any age, any, any sex that should watch it, what have you. It's good. And I feel like I myself was able to identify with it. So having a show like this when I was at a younger age definitely would have been really nice, especially to have a, a strong superhero like Ladybug is definitely an inspiration where you know, I had Sailor Moon, but Sailor Moon's kind of a crybaby. And not to say that's wrong, but <laughs> she's kind of a spoiled brat and kind of a crybaby. So when you look up the Sailor Moon like I did, you know, you kind of get a little bratty. <laughs> so I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> it was really fun though. So I had a great time watching these episodes. I hope you guys did as well. Please remember if you like this to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about these episodes. Um, like I said, I related to them. So I'd love to hear you guys as well. So thank you so much. And I'll see you all later.